Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today is a very special video because we're dumping in our boat for the very first time. That's right, the Facebook Marketplace boat that you saw Sam and myself work on for the last, it seems like, year or so, but it's only been like three months. Uh, today's the day we're testing out to see if it's going to work, okay? We did a lot of things to it. We put in the aqua traction, we put in a new trolling motor, a uh, new graph, which I'm gonna show you guys all of that in a second. And uh, the one thing we haven't tested is the motor to see if it works. So today, it's a nice day out here, and we decided let's see if we can take it fishing and make sure that this thing can float, because if it doesn't, then we just wasted a lot of time and energy into this thing that would suck but let me show you the final touches that we ended up doing with the boat and then we'll get to fishing check it out folks we have the boat all put together and today we're very excited as you can see uh, we did a couple things off camera just to, like final touches which I'll run through right now but look at that aqua traction son Mm, looks very sexy. Huge shout out to Aqua Traction, Shields, and Dakota Lithium for making this build a lot easier than uh, it would have been if it was just me and Sam. So shout out to all of those homies. They'll be all linked down below because they're huge sponsors in the build process of this boat. But what we did off camera. So we have the graphs turned on, which is really cool. The boat originally came with two of the seven inch screens, but I ended up putting in a 10 inch screen, which is way nicer. And we also have a better transducer, the 56 Garmin transducer. So that's all working. We got all the electrical somehow rigged up right. I don't know how me and Sam managed to do that, but up front here, we just added uh, a couple ram mounts everywhere. So this one up here is gonna be used for my live scope. So we'll have a live scope up here. We have the 80 pound thrust Minn Kota Tarova. Uh, there was originally a power drive, but we ended up putting this son of a gun on there. Just, I don't know, we don't really need it, but we just decided to do it. And then underneath these beautiful latches here, we got everything hooked up correctly. Uh, with the Dakota lithium batteries. These are the 100 amp ones, 12 volt. We have three of them up here. Two of them are for our Troy motor. One of them is for the two graphs back there that you guys saw, and then the starting batteries back there as well. Uh, but so we had to wire all of this um, off camera. I ended up putting in a little circuit breaker, which I've never done that before, but with the help of Jacob Sweary, I got that figured out and uh, that's gonna make life a lot easier. And then we have another ram mount over here with the arm for stabilization for this. So when we're driving around, it's not bobbing around and feeling like it's gonna break. Now it's in there nice and tuck. But that is pretty much all of the things that we did to the boat. Um, we're gonna get a couple things put together here and dump it in and, and see if it works. Again, if this doesn't work, I probably will cry because, uh, you know, a lot of time, money, and energy went into this, and hopefully it wasn't all for nothing. Sam Lehman, how excited are you for today? I am very excited. It's been a long wait, and John and I have not been walleye fishing all spring. We've been busy hunting, but uh, and we've been busy working on the boat. So, with that being said, we put a lot of hard work into this, and so did everybody else that helped us put this boat together. So, this is for everybody, and uh, we're excited to take it out. Oh, look at her person! Yay. Grab me arm, sir. <laughs> yeah, there we go. You take the camera. Yes, sir. I'm hopping on, buddy. Alrighty. Hey, this is lit. Dude, bro. this is lit. The Mindak boys have a boat finally. Let's go. 
All right, so we're starting the video off very good. The boat started very first turn, and it seemed like it did it pretty, pretty easy too. So we love that all of the hard work was well paid off. And now all we got to do is take it fishing. But we turned on the side imaging and all the electronics to make sure it works. And what do you know? We did that right too. Look at that. That is just beautiful, dude. A nice 10 inch screen with the old side imaging. And then we have that one for maps. Dude, you look good in the captain's seat. Thanks, homie. You feel like happy it. right now? I am very happy, very pleased with how this went. We just gotta see if we can't catch any fish now. I just set up the perspective mode on the Garmin up here. We're in spot lock. This is freaking awesome, Sam, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're looking at, I don't know if those are, oh, I don't know what happened right there, but those might be rocks, big boulders, or maybe fish, I don't know. But I'm gonna take out the old yerk bait here. And I'm throwing it on the St. Croix Avid Rod. This thing's a beast. This is their fast action, so I'm pretty pumped to just test it out. Oh, fish on. Oh, I think it was a pike. It snapped me off. It crunched her though, dude. Darn it, brother. All right, you got to man the trolling motor. Put her on spotlight. Yeah. Both had a couple of Mr. Pikes that came to try that's pretty cool though, man. That, that got me going. I was like, what the heck? Fish up. Oh, Sammy. Walleye. Oh, Sammy, that that walleye. I think there's a lot of walleyes in here. Yeah, I'm just going to put it in a spot lock, I think. Yeah. Hey, Sam's on, baby. Yes, sir. Let's go. It's not a bad one. Hee <laughs> hee. Buddy. Look at that! Mr. Whaleye! Maybe these fish that we broke off on were fish or walleye bro. Yeah, I don't know. Nice little walleye doll on the black paddle tail. But look at that beauty. First fish in the boat, man. 23 and a half inch post spawn walleye. We'll get him back in the water. Dude, there we go. First first oh. uh, fish in the boat, bro. Whoa! He was mad. Hey, you did it, Let's Sam. Let's go. Caught the first fish. I felt good, brother. Dude, and it was the right species, too. I it know. Like. Let's go, a lot, of, a lot of head shakes, though. So, I think Johnny might have left the walleye. That's two casts in a row, bro. Oh, I see one swimming <laughs> on live scope. Oh, I see a couple. Yeah. Where's the yeah? By that stick. Right out from that stick. Oh, we dude, yeah, they're right there, just stacked right there, Sam. Oh, dude, how do I keep losing? Oh, no, he's on. He's on still. Oh my gosh, bro. This is so cool. I was like, oh, look on perspective. There's some fish. Cast right over. Oh, is it a... Oh, it's a stinking pike. Dang, man. Hey, we're on them pike, though, eh? <laughs> All right. John Lehman's first fish ever in the boat is a pike. That does seem about right. But I was looking on live scope, and they're stacked right on right on that log right there that is so cool there's yeah look at them all one two three look at all them all we kept on fishing and it ended up that it turned into a grease fest very very quickly 
we caught so many pike and I don't really want to bore you guys with that footage. Uh, we decided to make a move across to an island about 100 to 200 yards away from where we were catching the pike. And then on our way over there, this happened. I wonder if we're... Did that thing die? All right, guys, so we ran into a little dilemma. We were putzing over with the trolling motor to the other side, and all of a sudden it just died. And we looked at all the fuses and all the circuits and stuff, and that looks all fine. All the connections look fine. So the only thing we can think of is, well, number one, Sam and I charged this like a while ago, and it just sat in the garage, and we never plugged it in and charged it again. So I guess while the boat was just sitting in the garage, um, it was still probably drawing some power and then when we ran it on 10 and you know for the whatever four hours We've been out here It it killed the battery So we're hoping it's just a dead battery and that's it's our fault and it's not some other electrical problem um, So right now we don't have a trolling motor which is kind of a bummer So I think maybe we're gonna go back to the house plug it in and see if it starts charging And if it starts charging and everything turns on then well, I mean that would be good We'll just charge it and come back out here tomorrow and continue this video, but if it doesn't start charging, then we have to look into this problem a little bit more. But I mean, all in all, like the first day out here in the new boat, it everything worked up until this point, and I can't really complain about it. Uh, I think we're just gonna kind of pack up, and I'll plan on seeing you guys tomorrow to explain how it went. Many hours later. Well, everybody, it is the next day, and basically, as soon as I turned off the camera yesterday, everything w just went to poopy, okay? At this boat launch, we loaded the boat after the trolling motor stopped working, and we popped the tire. So I had to change the tire on the old Chevy, uh, the old rental car, on this gravel road in the middle of nowhere with no service. Um, anyways, we got that taken care of, went home, and I stayed up until 1 a.m. working on the boat, trying to figure out what was wrong with the trolling motor. It wasn't getting any power, so I was looking at all the connections, uh, rewiring some stuff, and just, I couldn't figure it out. So we woke up this morning and worked on it again, and I figured out deep within the cupboards here where the batteries are, there's this circuit breaker that I didn't know was there, and that one you can't just re-trip. There's no switch to reset it. So I had to completely just take that out and rewire that, and now the trolling motor is working. However, uh, the battery that we have today, well, we have one good battery and one battery that's not very charged. So it's obviously not very good. I wouldn't suggest doing this if you guys are gonna do something like that. You know, for one day, Mr. Suri said it's gonna be all right, so we're just gonna absolutely send it and hopefully finish this video, guys, and catch some fish. How do you feel about life? We're gonna catch some fish, that's all I know. species too I'm yeah dude on the pause that was awesome close to shore? yeah close to shore I'm thinking this is the right species oh, need the uh, oh. get oh no it's a walleye hey oh I hate being doubled it would hate if you put us on spot lock oh this is just awful fellas oh dude mine's not bad I think mine's the right species too. Tail grab, let's go, baby! Sheesh! She wanted the jerk bait. There we go, folks. My first walleye in the new boat. That's awesome. It didn't take very long. It took maybe like 10 minutes. I'm gonna just bump it just for the heck of it on my aqua traction. 24 inches on the old aqua traction. We'll take that, baby. Let's go. And Sam and I both doubled on walleyes, actually. So that's kind of cool. We'll let Buddy go. See ya. 
Let's go. Yes, sir. That does not feel good. Hey, we'll take that, brother. Doubled? Are we doubled on the right species, brother? I hope so. See ya. Oh, ho, doubled on the right species, brother. There we go, a little post spawner fish. Doubled up off in the whalamage eyes. Get out of here, buckle. I saw that one on the live scope. Did you? Yeah. That's so cool, dude. Did you see him chasing you? What? Did you see him chasing you? No, I just saw him swimming out there and I cast it right where I thought he was about. No way. Two seconds later, he chomped it. Not a monster by any means, but it's a good, healthy fish. Eight, seven. Not a bad little fish, probably 23, 22 inches. Get it back in the water. See you. I see that. Oh yeah, they're fish. <laughs> Pike. Oh, do it feel like it's a walleye, but it fought like a freaking pike, bro. Hmm, not bad. We'll let her go. Dude, look at all of them. You gotta be right on them, if those ones are fish. Those do look like fish. <laughs> they are, bro. We sharp shot. There's a big school of fish right here. We sharp shot them. That one smoked me, bro. Get the double, bro. Get the double. They're so pretty. <laughs> that was so sick, bro. Oh, yeah. Nice little walleye. That's not bad, bro. Yeah, dude. They're loaded right there. Oh, that was so cool, bro. Shout out perspective mode on the Garmin. So, so cool. We're about 40, 50 feet away from them, so we're not scaring them with the trolling motor or anything. My bad. There we go. Look at that. There's probably about, I don't know, 
10, 10 of them or so over there. Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to bust the camera out and do the outro before there wasn't enough sunlight. Um, we've had a heck of a day and heck of a last two days, you know, from taking the boat out for the very first time to some faulty stuff happening to somewhat fixing it and coming out here and putting together all in all a pretty good day of fishing. It was a great day. We caught fish. Can't complain about that. The weather's nice. It's like decently warm out and there's no bugs yet. So that's a plus. I just want to take this time to say thank you to everyone that's watched this far and enjoyed the boat building process. Again, I could not have done it without our sponsors, Dakota Lithium, Shields, and Aqua Traction, and then Jacob Sree as well. But let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think of our Facebook Marketplace boat? And also, drop comments down below for names for the boat. We still haven't figured out a name. I kind of want to name it something to do with, you know, like a, it's just like a, something you just beat on and you fish in, in like crappy places, like little sloughs and stuff like that. You know, it's like a, it's like a slough skipper, but drop comments down below on all of that stuff I just said. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.